I feel like exploring the dark, weird places on DeviantArt should be a video on its own. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do I dare? So what do you think in the comments? Should I explore the darkest of DeviantArt? Everyone, Lenny face. DeviantArt, at one hand, really talented artists. At the other hand, trolls, terrible fan fictions, questionable safe work art, not safe work art, etc. Uh oh, he's discovered the dark place of DeviantArt. Be careful in there. <laughs> I don't think I've gotten there yet. There's a pretty easy way to see what we should be doing, and that is from the fact that there was a poll, where of course, for the question, should I explore the darkness of DeviantArt, the uh, possible responses were no, no, God no, and f no, and yes. I haven't even looked at the poll results, but I have a pretty strong feeling I know what they are. Oh my god. Now, I don't mean to throw shade at DeviantArt. In fact, I have a DeviantArt account, which we'll get to in a moment. But before we dive into it, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's first explore DeviantArt the safe way. Through Wikipedia. DeviantArt, formerly stylized as DeviantArt, the company announced it was being acquired by Wix.com and this video isn't even sponsored by Wix! That's a wasted opportunity! This video is probably going to get weird enough that they probably wouldn't want to. <laughs> so I'm not trying to throw shade on DeviantArt. I know that there are talented artists on DeviantArt. That's how they get their audience, that's how they build a profile and following and a portfolio and gain notoriety. So obviously there is a lot of value to be had on DeviantArt, but with any platform where anyone can submit anything, you can bet your boot the weird people come along and upload the weird stuff. So today is a bit of an exploration of DeviantArt. Both the light side, the cool stuff, but we're also gonna just see if the dark stuff is, 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 if it's worth exploring or if it gets too dark to handle. Now, disclaimer right up front, this video may not be family friendly, but at the same time, I will pixelate, mask, hide, disguise, replace with pictures of Doge. I will prioritize your sanity and safety above my own. I may not come out of this alive in the end. Maybe that half of this video is me describing what I see and then calling for help but it's going to be great content. But I think the best place to start on DeviantArt is with my set. Hang on. I don't know. Do I have a draw with Jazza DeviantArt? That's not mine. That's just my stuff that someone else posted. Oh, it's okay. They owned up to it. I am not the real Jazza. I am making this account because I am a huge fan of his. I noticed he didn't have a DeviantArt. So please do not send me hate for copying. Well, I won't send you hate, but I will point out that I actually do have a DeviantArt. It's just not called Draw with Jazza. This is my DeviantArt. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've even looked at this. So I'm sort of rediscovering my own DeviantArt. Art account. I should probably reinvigorate it, but I can't be bothered, so let's just call it an archive. Like the bedroom of a child who once left home. A time capsule of the cherished period in history that once was, and will never be again. And now I'm sad. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I got 2.3 thousand watches, 70 thousand page views, 50 deviations. That's right. My last <laughs> deviation was a what Dota 2 based Christmas card. Posted oh, from... What, no. what, what, what year was this? What? year is it? 2013! So the last DeviantArt submission I made was a year after I started this YouTube channel. So let's go back in time a little bit. Where do we go? Gallery? This, it turns out, was my first DeviantArt submission in 2007. So I'm an old school DeviantArtist and uh, didn't really dive too deep back then, probably because I was a little bit scared. But now that I'm a big brave boy, we're gonna see what we find. Let's just start off with the homepage. I mean, nothing's jumping out dramatically at me. What is that? Weird stuff. I mean, this sort of counts. There's like a whole brony thing. I totally forgot about that. But I mean, from the looks of this, it's going strong. This is incredible artwork. <laughs> These are very, very talented people creating intense, detailed My Little Pony artwork. A little odd, but I'm not one to judge. That's fine. If you enjoy that, it doesn't hurt anyone. Unless violent My Little Pony. I think this video is gonna just be a whole chain of tangents. Oh yeah, now we're getting good. I mean, that's almost cool. A little too much pony butt for my liking. I feel like that's definitely emphasized here. I'm gonna stop diving down that rabbit hole. Let's go back to the homepage. Oh, that's a welcome change. I feel much safer now. That's way more constructive. Let's look up kittens. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at it. Oh, there's a little grubby cat in the middle there. Oh, look at this, oh, look at this little kitten. He's got, oh God. It got weird, it got weird, it got weird. I had to abort. I'm gonna just go ahead and turn off display mature content because I know it's gonna get too weird allowing all the content through. But if I lock mature content and then look up weird stuff, such as sexy SpongeBob, probably not gonna get the pornographic things, but we'll probably get some weird things. Oh God, really? This is safe search? Is this a thing? Is this all one, this is all one artist. <laughs> Sink Candy Central. This is a story 
This is sequential. It just keeps going. What is happening? Oh my god! This is the artist. Pa this is their thing. This is what they do. Again, I'm not judging. I mean, I guess everyone finds the thing that helps them stand out from the crowd. And Sink Candy Centrals is blowing up cartoon characters like big old balloons. I'm a changed man. That's all I could say. What happens if I look up Sexy Garfield? You know what happens if I look this up. It gets stunningly weird. Very fast. All right, let's, let's, let's backtrack. We've done SpongeBob. Uh, we've seen Garfield. Let's come back to reality a little bit. Let's find real people and the things that make them tick. Specifically, I'm talking about cosplay. We've run into it, but we've turned on the safer work filter, so we're gonna, <laughs> don't have to be so worried now. But I want to see how creative people get when they cosplay as a lamp. That's cool. That's a well done cosplay costume. I respect that as the art form, as an execution. Well done. That's cool too. I don't know who who it is. That's sort of like a lamp. It's lit up. He's lit. <laughs> what even is this? Chopkeeper from Zelda games. Oh, that's a, oh, I see it. Well done. All right, what else we got? Trampoline. Trampoline! There it is, cosplay on a trampoline. Again, that's exactly what I searched. Thank you, DeviantArt. All right, what else can we try looking at? Let's see how people mix different aesthetics and fandoms. For example, I am a fan of Warhammer and their art and aesthetic and style. I'm also a fan of Spider-Man. Have people mixed them in any clever way? A lot of treasure planet. What has that got to do with Warhammer and Spider-Man? What is this? This is a thing. What is this? Is it all the same artist? It is. Kaiser Zest. Dolaris. And why am I getting only search results from one artist? I looked at Warhammer and Spider-Man and I'm getting results of one artist, Disney character crossovers. There's a lot of it too. Oh wait, what have we got here? Oh, finally! Warhammer Spider-Man in cake form. But either way, I got what I asked for eventually. Jeez. But hey, I learned something today. If I'm into Disney crossovers with a slight sexual undertone, I know where to find them. All right, so back on the homepage, I've seen recommended for me, but let's let's go across here to daily deviations. This is just, I think, the highlights picked by the website. They're not necessarily tailored for me. That obviously isn't very successful because I'm not on DeviantArt much these days. This is cool. What's this from? Smite. So like I said earlier on, you get like really professional people on here. And this is obviously someone art done for Smite. So this is a professional video game artist. And that's cool. Like that's really cool artwork right there. So depending on how you search or where you search, you can find something that fits your tastes, whether it be that or some other things we've seen. Ah, oh, Scott, I love sculptures. These are like action figure sculpts. That's something I'd love to see some cool art for is like monster clay sculptures. It's definitely different. Hey, that's cool. I love that sort of thing. That's not, oh, they. This, this artist has got some cool stuff. Really contrasty, detailed, visceral character sculptures. I just love, like that just looks so cool to me. This is great. You can find the really weird stuff that makes you uncomfortable and just really cool stuff that requires a lot of talent and is just really inspiring. Like I see this stuff and it just makes me want to make stuff. <laughs> Look at that. I am a, uh, Partial to the Joker. I'm not sure if you knew this about me. Let's put a smile on that face! <laughs> but for every cool and inspiring thing, there's a weird thing. And let's uh, see what we can find in that <laughs> saxophone. You know what? I think that's even better. Saxophone. Is there a Joker playing the saxophone? No. There's this. <laughs> what happens if we juxtapose things? We put two forces next to each other, like cute and murder. Oh, this is definitely sort of cute murder. There's a mix of both, I guess. Is this Sonic? I'll probably come across as ignorant to people who understand Sonic. It's probably not Sonic, but I know Sonic's a thing. I feel like I've said Sonic a lot in the last few sentences and it's starting to sound like a word that isn't a word. Sonic, 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 Sonic. Speaking of fast Sonic, who is faster? Sonic or Lightning McQueen? How is there not Sonic versus Lightning McQueen art? Oh, DeviantArt, you disappoint me. But there's a Sonic stuff collection. Oh, he's pouty. He's pouty because he lost a race to Lightning McQueen. Am I triggering Sonic fans? This is good. Ooh, this is even better. Oh no. This is all, this is one artist. <laughs> oh no. Again, that's your thing. And it doesn't hurt anyone, but this person gets a, a lot out of this. There's some heavy motivation to explore this, this side of Sonic and whoever the hell that character is. Sonic and Amy. Who, who is Amy? Episode 52 of Sonic X. It scared me to think that I was never gonna see you again. <gasps> day after day, I waited for you to come, but you never did. I didn't know where you were. I couldn't sleep. Answer her, Sonic! Now you're here. <sighs> I'm so glad to find you back, Sonic! It's such a wonderful feeling! 
I get it. I understand it now. I mean, I can see how that episode of Sonic motivated this. Ah. Oh. It's not hurting anyone. People enjoy what they enjoy. And I enjoy you, you little cutie. Oh, look at you with your little face. And I guess at the end of the day, if there were a moral to this story, it is that there are many kinds of people in the world. There are the cool Diablo fan art people, and there are people who make this stuff. There's people who like making beautiful photographs with carefully planned color composition, and obviously very talented models and costume designers. And there are people who like dressing up like this and jumping on a trampoline. There are people who find this sort of thing romantic and people who find this sort of thing romantic. There are people who like to express their love and appreciation for Sailor Moon by creating this. And there are people who like to express their appreciation and love for Sailor Moon by doing that. I think if I were to summarize the moral of the story of this video in two key points, it is that one, there is room and space and a place in the world for every one of us, no matter what our tastes and interests. And two, it is much more easy to maintain your sanity and end a video like this with a positive moral when you decided very early on that maybe keeping safe search on was the best idea. <laughs> and it still got weird. But I don't think I could have handled how weird it would get with Safe Search off. So I don't encourage any of you to turn it off. And you're welcome to tell me whatever you want in the comments. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look. I mean let's be honest, I've been pointing the finger a lot in this video and having a laugh, but uh, I've made some weird stuff too. And that's okay. I turned out alright in the end. Or did I? Don't answer that in the comments down below. Please. Make sure to hit the like button if you but there's bound to be something in this video you liked. Otherwise, there's bound to be something in any of those videos you might enjoy either, or videos on this channel, which of course you can see more coming up if you subscribe. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you later.